Hey everybody, welcome to my channel again. It's uh, Joe Jaguar, and today, actually, you know what? Let me let me explain to you why I call myself Joe Jaguar. So let me just flip this over. Let's go take a quick peek. Now, hopefully, you guys can see uh, my jacket. Okay, it's a little bit folded up on the chair. It is a Jaguar jacket. Okay. Do you see my license plate? That's kind of neat. Joe Jaguar license plate. No one can have that but me. And on a Jaguar. So that's pretty neat. And in my younger days, I um, was in a, a, a band um, called Raw Faith. And I'm one of those guys. Okay, let's put this back. Let's get back to the video. So, let me see if that's... That way... Okay, let's get back to the real video. Okay, so um, a week ago or two, uh, you guys uh, saw me unwrap a 4-inch Evo Star by Skywatcher, which is an Apple Chromatic, and I just showed it to you guys, you know, all the accessories, the case that came with it, and how good it would be on paper. Uh, so I just tested it out on uh, Saturn, uh, so let's let's stop there and talk about that for a second. Okay, so this year is probably one of the worst years for Jupiter and Saturn because uh, they are really, really low in the sky. So being uh, the lower they are in the sky, the more atmosphere you have to look through, so the worse the image will be. Uh, now Jupiter I don't think is too bad, but uh, a lot of people consider it to be, you know, not as good as normally. Um, of, of, like uh, compared to other years uh, but Saturn is pretty low also the other thing is uh, they're past its opposition so what that means is for the new people it's past its prime uh, that was a few months ago it's prime so not only are the both planets are one of its worst years um, and I don't think it starts becoming better for at least another two to three years minimum uh, at least for Saturn uh, Jupiter has a more faster orbit, so it'll probably improve quicker than Saturn. Anyway, um, so not only is both planets at its one of its worst years, um, it is also um, past its opposition, past its prime m a few months back. Um, so the views are not going to be crystal clear. I already know that. Now, the day that I tested this scope out, um, it was a little bit windy. Now it wasn't super windy, but you know, even a little wind will jitter, you know, move it, vi vibrate it, uh, have some jitters. So it wasn't the best, but at least it was clear. And with weather, you get what you, you know, whatever is handed to us. Now the next day was a bit better, but I was a little tired that day to take them downstairs. So I actually took it downstairs. Uh, the elevator out to the park next door uh, just so I can be on solid ground and not actually uh, you know on the balcony even though the balcony is about 13 inches thick concrete it's just better and also uh, the planets are actually past where I can see it on the balcony uh, so I have to go downstairs anyway so I did test this guy out the uh, forage apple and it was uh, pretty good so I could say uh, after testing it out uh, the images of no false color, um, it was pretty clear, you know, uh, it wasn't rock solid because it was a little windy, but it was, you know, pretty good views. Um, so I would say, you know, for this size, like if you were to compare, for instance, a 4 inch F9 or F10 Acromat to this guy, you would probably say, wow, the image quality is probably 25-30% better. Uh, so it was actually pretty decent, uh, was not bad. So if you guys are considering a 4-inch Apple Chromatic, I would say this is a, probably a good contender. Uh, again, it's not so cheap. Uh, an Acromat this size, probably uh, retail, new, probably with, uh, around four to five hundred dollars, depending what accessories and, and stuff come with it. Uh, this guy is twelve forty-nine before tax about thirty uh, sorry about fourteen hundred with tax so not cheap but uh, pretty good now the only downfall I, I have since I made that intro 
to this guy opening it up. It had a dual speed crate fo focuser with a 10 to 1 reduction and it actually um, doesn't work anymore. I actually bumped it uh, one day coming in from the balcony, the door just slammed on it um, and I couldn't get it to, it wouldn't um, go back and forth or it wouldn't retract in and out uh, as good unless it was on a flat surface but as soon as I pointed it zenith or north, you know what I mean, upwards, it would just slip right down. So I did call uh, the dealer that I got it from, he was saying, you know, there is like eight or nine hex screws on the bottom of the focuser, uh, maybe something came loose, maybe whatever. I tried to fool around with it. Um, he suggests I can send it back to him, maybe they can fix it. So I don't know if it's fixable. You know, it's kind of disappointing, something that brand new, uh, a bump. Uh, it wasn't a, a tiny bump, but it wasn't a huge bump either. Just a medium bump will screw up a, a focuser on something brand new. So I guess that's what you get, you know. What can I tell you? I know it was my fault, but, you know, these things should last a decent amount, you know, the normal wear and tear. But besides that, the scope held pretty well, uh, pretty good image quality. Uh, uh, I'm going to end the video there because I just wanted to let you know it's pretty good except for the focuser. Maybe they should make it a little bit more robust and uh, better quality uh, in, in this price range, you know what I mean? Um, but again, it was my fault, um, but uh, you know, it should stand up for a, li a little bit more wear. Anyway, I did also, my next video is going to be about, I actually did then, same night, I uh, take my Takahashi 4 inch, so it's the same size as this, uh, it's an F8, this one's F9, so they're almost identical, and I actually did a rundown side by side. I don't want to get into that, that here, because it's just about what, the, how did this perform, uh, and that's what this video is about. My next one, uh, I'll try to get out uh, side by side comparison, I actually already did that, I want to tell you guys what happened. Uh, I'm on my next video. Now in closing, just want to let you guys know, uh, my videos I do zero editing, I do zero rehearsing, uh, I, uh, I don't do any of that, I just kind of wing it. Uh, I know some people have polished videos, you know, they spend hours editing it, uh, they probably take three, four, six, eight, ten takes on it, uh, maybe they have to Google certain uh, things before they upload it because they don't want to say something wrong. I do zero of that. You're getting a raw video, no editing, no rehearsals. Everything I say is just one time and that's it. So hopefully you guys can appreciate that too. You're getting a raw video and uh, I don't uh, Google something. Oh, did I did I say the uh, you know the lens correctly? Did I? Uh, say this or that uh, because maybe some people don't know as well and they have to research uh, the formulas before giving it. I don't do any of that. I, I say it straight as it is and hopefully you guys appreciate that and I'll see you guys on my next video. Um, cheers.